A natural affinity made Jock Steen enlist Alec Ferguson as his right-hand man with Scotland. You used to say, you're, you're always losing your temper. You know, that's his... Where, where did he get that idea? I don't know. I said, <laughs> what, what were you like when you were young, you know? And he'd have you up, when well, we used to meet with Scotland, say, on Saturdays. Hmm. And he'd be sitting there at 3 o'clock in the morning. I said, Joe, I've got to take the train in the morning. He says, oh, you're all right. Steely, you know, old Jimmy Steely said, go and get another pot of tea. Another pot of tea, and we talk football and football. But, but the one thing I must say, that, and I, f I found it very, uh, very praiseworthy of him, when I used to try and quiz him about how he achieved it at Celtic winning that European Cup, with his own input, you know, he would put it all on his players, you know. Yeah. He would never take any of the credit himself. And you never say a bad word about Celtic. Well, you've said to me in the past that in his case it was genuine humility. Said that oh, I was. I couldn't get him to say, well, I did this for a reason, and that was it. No, we, we Jimmy played well that day. Or Murdoch was in control, or Big Billy was dominant. You know, it would be thrown back towards the players, which I found quite, quite commendable. And he had this thing about him where everybody was frightened of him. Not in a fearsome way, but everyone was aware of him, you know. I mean, he had something about him that... Even, <laughs> and we were experienced players then, we had yeah. won European Cups. You know, maybe 40 yeah. caps, he's got, yeah. Kenny's got 80 caps. And, you and didn't fancy was, offending no. him.